we're going to get a lot higher, maybe up around about 30, 31 degrees to be quite honest, around about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Check that out and see if I'm wrong. Uh, Tuesday, March the 5th, uh, Mad March, uh, well, March Madness has definitely taken upon us here at Galaxy, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I'm being very, very honoured by a good friend of ours, and believe me, we've known him for some time now. Let's go back a couple of years to Burn. And of course, you hear Ryan Weaver uh, on our stingers all the time. Well, he's joined us now because I'm feeling very honoured to have Ryan. He's chosen us over everybody in the world to release his brand new song, Arrival. So uh, welcome along, Ryan. It's a pleasure to have you back. I appreciate you guys having me. I tell you, you guys have been there in my corner from the beginning when, as an independent artist, we really pushed this out. And uh, your fans over there in New Zealand and the folks that are listening around the world have, have uh, helped me pay my bills and helped me live a dream and uh, chase this dream. And last year was a bigger year than I've ever had in my career. And I'm looking forward to what's going to happen with this one, too. Absolutely. Now, at the moment over there, it is winter time, but you are coming into summer. And I'm uh, just wondering, have you got any good plans? Are you doing any festivals uh, to be able to release Arrival? Well, we have a, I do have a show with Lee Bryce uh, in April right now scheduled, but we're getting on with a new booking company that's going to uh, start having us tour around. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to have an extensive conversation with you guys because I would love to come out to New Zealand and bring my band and blow the roof off of any place that we get to play because we'll have a lot of fun out there. I can't, I, you know, I, your fans are just some of the most energetic and uh, I would be excited to come out there, not just because New Zealand's one of my bucket list places to go in the world, but uh, I know that the fans over there are just great, great, great energetic people. So we, we love it. You know, uh, we are big fans here in New Zealand. We really, really are. We'd be very honored to have you play in front of New Zealand audiences, it would be absolutely a blinder of a show. Uh, please talk to Barbara about that. She uh, runs, of course, uh, Aurora Entertainments, which uh, is right up your alley. She comes down with all the logistics, everything you need to know, uh, right down to uh, getting your visas, all that sort of stuff. So Barbara is the person to know there. I personally would be very, very honoured to spend some time with you and uh, uh, you never know what we might get up to, actually, if we don't get arrested within the first 24 hours. We're, you know, I'm just not doing my job right. Uh, so uh, we're about to have a lot of fun if this all comes off. Uh, but at the same time, I've got to say, Brian, uh, it all comes down to money as well. We need to be able to get some sponsorship involved here, if you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everybody knows that flying from the United States or flying to the United States is uh, it's a costly endeavor. Especially, I have a six-piece band behind me. You know, six six guys that uh, we actually added a DJ because of this song uh, that you're going to be debuting. We added a DJ to the mix, um, and we actually the, a lot of the show dynamics and the way that we we kind of started performing the show. We added some uh, some cool modern uh, production into it uh, to cross over to multiple genres. Um, I, I was talking to you a little bit before we came on about my touring with professional bull riders this past year so i got to see a whole different way of um of entertaining a crowd that has so many different backgrounds because the one thing that i didn't want to do uh, you know you get and don't get me wrong i'm a country music artist um by, by on the baseline of things but i grew up listening to 80s rock and i grew up listening to um pop music and i mean i don't I'm not a pop country music artist like your typical. Our show leans itself more towards, as you see with Burn, rock than it does even country. Um, so we just decided to add a couple extra elements in this to be able to appeal to folks that do like to dance and do like to uh, listen to, you know, back in the day when I was listening to dubstep and the different things, you know, when the pop and the and the rap um, genres were big. I listened to all of that. So. This, this song is true to who I am. I, I haven't changed it to be anything that I'm not. Um, we, I just wanted to incorporate what I was seeing in the, um, with my tour this past year, and we could talk a little bit about that. Um, but I think that getting, getting over there to perform for you guys, I, I would love to get folks that listen to all different genres, because I know y'all play all different kinds of music there um, on Galaxy 107. Um, 
I'd love to get all those fans in there and have them and become friends with everybody in New Zealand because I every New Zealander I've ever met, I've, I've, I've absolutely fell in love with and that I've ever met in person and, you know, with you on Skype here, so. You know, it, it is, uh, well, it, absolutely humbling to be able to uh, hear those words from you, my friend, especially from somebody of a talent. Uh, much like yours. Got to admit though, uh, it is Tuesday. I didn't wear my Friday red thing. I'm just wondering if you still did that. Oh, absolutely. We have uh, my nine line apparel. We have I actually moved over from a company called Grunt Style to a new company called Nine Line Apparel since the last time we talked. Uh, so there are some more red shirts out there now. We have actually two different kinds of red shirts. One's actually black and has red on it. And uh, Nine Line Apparel also has a red with red on it and then there's another red shirt that I have called it's a um, by your example so it says the world has changed by your example not your opinion uh, so that's another one that I get to wear on Red Fridays as well you know I absolutely support what you're doing I still actually do it I uh, love the band as well I uh, still actually do it on a Friday uh, around the office and everything like that keeping you in mind I've got to be honest with you it is actually become a thing uh, but we're here for a very, very important reason, my friend, and that is to introduce to the world, first radio station in the world to play this, here is Ryan Weaver and a rival. Facebook. Love you all. <laughs> so Ryan, um, this is so cool. Yeah, Hi, absolutely. Dwayne. And I feel very, very honoured that you choose us to do this. I really, really do. Uh, welcome along everybody that's watching us on Facebook right now. Check out Ryan Weaver and especially his brand spanking new single, Arrival. Um, Ryan, I'm going to ask you, uh, have we got more work coming in? Are you doing an album? Are you doing an EP and stuff like that? Yeah. We have a few songs that are, we have a new song that's actually uh, going to be on a docu-series here in the United States that, uh, What You Think of Me, you may have seen it on YouTube, we played it on my couch here, um, it's a ballad, talks, yeah, I wrote on the anniversary of my brother's death in Iraq, and then we have a brand new song that we just recorded that we're, we're recording for a, uh, uh, potentially a theme song for a hunting show over here in, in the U.S. too, but I will tell you, when we get this one recorded, it's going to be another one that you guys are going to like to play. I'm, I'm excited about it. It's going to be very, we're going to kind of move this sound that you're hearing right now um, because of the arena side of things and, and the arena pump you up, licensing this for, you know, college football games and professional football games and professional athletics and those kind of things. So nice, nice. Let's go back to the desk. Right here, Gilsey. 107 FM is 12 after 9 o'clock. 
16 degrees downtown, we're heading for that high. Only 10 off it, 26 degrees today. I kind of think we don't. We're going to do that comfortably today, really. Uh, I think we'll get up around about mid-30s, to be honest with you. Tuesday, March the 5th, and uh, we're right here, joined by the man himself announcing his arrival. Of course, we're talking about Ryan Weaver, and uh, you're quite familiar with Ryan. Of course, uh, uh, we did the uh, burn a couple of years ago. That was about uh, your brother in, in Iraq, if I remember right, Ryan, and it was a tribute to him. Uh, and I think it had a coalition somewhere down the track. Uh, to Black Hawk Down. Am I wrong there? Uh, yes, my brother was in the actual event uh, for Black Hawk Down, and, uh, but then we brought in, for the movie 13 Hour Secret Soldiers of Benghazi that came out, we brought in two of the survivors from Benghazi, John Tigan and Chris Peranto. Um, and it was, yeah, it was, it, it was a year-long project. It took us about a year to get it all funded and put together, and, and uh, Paramount gave us authorization to use the trailer clips in the song, or the, the video, um, so, you know, it was it was a great project to be able to, every time I watch it, I think about all the different things that it that had to come together, the logistics of bringing everybody in from around the United States for that video. Um, and then you guys, you guys played it and or played the song and promoted, promoted it. And I'm extremely, you know, excited to get back on here with you guys again and, and debut this um, because I, I couldn't think of a better station that's given me more support. Uh, in the past couple years uh, in my career uh, from over there. So, like I said, we just got to get over there now and perform for you guys and, and blow the roof off the place. Absolutely. And believe me, Ryan, we uh, would absolutely pack it right here in New Zealand. We really, really would. At the same time, i, I got to find out from you uh, how we can buy, acquire this particular track. Are you on Spotify? Are you on uh, Instagram? And places like that, uh, Amazon, for instance, where we can uh, download uh, your music. Because, uh, believe me, this is absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to ask you very shortly uh, about new work coming up. But how do we acquire this? Um, it's everywhere. I mean, if you if you listen to Spotify, just search my name, search Ryan Weaver, and uh, add it to your playlist. And um, you know, it's uh, that's that's one place that you can get it. It's on iTunes right now. Uh, I know that outside of the U.S., I think it's going to be streaming in, inside Apple Music for folks, so you can add it to your Apple Music playlist. Um, the uh, uh, and it should be on every single digital outlet that there is out there for you to. To download it, and, and the thing is, a lot of folks don't know this, but <clears throat> or, or may not know this, but uh, a lot of folks do. It's extremely important that if you do download the song on whatever app that you download it on, or whatever it is, that you give it comments and that you that you review it, and that you those kind of things are what those platforms consider engagement for the song. We, it was really really important to um, to get that out there. Really important to. Uh, not just download the song. I mean, it's 99 cents. It's not super expensive. It's, you know, less than a cup of coffee that anybody's going to spend in a day. And, and um, But the reviews and comments and all those different things and adding it to your playlist and all that stuff is, impo is equally important as you just streaming the song because everybody knows that on the streaming side of it, nobody makes anything off of that. It's like 0 .001 cents a stream or something like that. Um, but where it really comes in to help the artist is when folks see the playlist that you're on or the reviews are really high and they start putting you on the hot list, it helps the artist get an independent artist get shows and, and be booked for shows and be able to uh, you know, do other things outside of just uh, the music sales itself. You know, I fully understand exactly where you're coming from and believe me, we ask everybody to uh, uh, go to the Galaxy page, the Galaxy Artist page as well, give the reviews. Uh, they're with gold. They really, really are. Because uh, uh, at the same time, now I got to ask you: uh, Are you on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram? And uh, when people get hold of you, do you respond? If you get a, if you shoot me a message, if you anything on Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, uh, I'm running my own social media. Um, I hope to get to the point to where I, I have some folks helping me out because it's gotten uh, it's gotten a little bit busy in the last year. Um, but I try to respond to every single message that's out there. Um, you know, a lot of folks ask me questions about um, uh, about doing, uh, you know, about my clothing line, about my, my cow I have a cowboy boot line that's out now. I know that lane boots are over in New Zealand as well because there are some New Zealand and Australian folks that wear lane boots. We have a new cowboy boot that's out. 
um, super American patriotic, but, um, you know, I get asked all those questions and I want to make sure that everybody has the answers to it. And, uh, yes, I do have folks that help me out with my social media, but you will be talking to me, um, on, on my social media pages. So, you know, uh, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, my friend, but uh, I'm stuck on these boots now and, uh, <laughs> I, I want to buy myself a pair of boots. I, I do. I really do. Uh, so I, I might get Barbara to uh, communicate a little more with you about that. Uh, but at the yeah. same time, my friend, you see, uh, I don't answer to anybody on the internet myself personally phone. because I've got a Barbara. Uh, it uh, sounds, yeah. sounds like you need a Barbara. It really does oh. because uh, uh, I couldn't do anything on the internet without having my own Barbara. Otherwise, uh, you see, quite, quite, quite frankly, I'm quite uh, a private person and uh, uh, when I leave the job, I like to be able to uh, go home and be myself and a family man and all that sort of stuff and then come yeah. back to the job. Uh, but I find uh, sometimes Facebook and Instagram and all of those can be quite intrusive in your home, if you know what I mean. Uh, so it, it, I would say for some folks, uh, in, especially in your position, or you know, when you're a lot more famous than I am. Um, but the you know, the, as an artist, it's my lifeline. You know, it, so I look at it um, the way that I look at it as an artist. Most of my, you know, we're going to do shows. I'm doing shows on the weekend. I'm doing shows anytime, but you know, seven days a week and. And if I'm not react or engaging my fans, or I'm not, uh, you know, letting people get to know me as an artist, um, you know, it's it's important to to have that engagement. So I do answer. I mean, there are sometimes I put my phone down for a couple of days and on the social media side of it to take a break. But uh, for the most part, it's my bread and butter when it comes to paying my bills and also being able to get new fans. And I know that nowadays with social media. That direct involvement and that direct engagement with your fans is extremely important. Sure, it's going to get to the point where I can't, I don't have enough time because I'm playing shows all the time or I'm doing whatever I'm doing, but um, I definitely try to get on and engage my fans as much as possible. Absolutely, totally understand exactly where it is, and believe me, uh, the internet these days is your modern day database for your fans, I've got to be honest, so you need to be able to support that as much as possible, and I applaud you, sir, for being able to uh, uh, communicate with the modern day uh, public. I, I really, really do, and I know you're going to go far, especially with music like Arrival. I really, really do. But I've got to ask you: uh, Are you are you looking at uh, releasing anything new in the very near future? Because believe me, right here at Galaxy, we would love to be able to release it yet again, uh, much like this. This is uh, right now. We got. This is where we're going to focus. The one thing that I've done differently about that, I got a little off. But the one thing that I've done differently with my career, um, that I was actually just talking to a music video promotion promotion guy because we have a another video, that, a tribute video that we uh, toured around the nation with the professional bull riders called Never Forgotten. Um, we toured around the nation with that video, and, and um, you know, all of the seasons over, I don't want to. Um, you know, my season with that, with Never Forgotten being the promotion video that uh, we were doing, I, I don't want that, that video to, I want it to still still get promotion and still be able to move forward with it. And I was talking to him about the possibilities of, of promoting it. Um, I focused in my career, instead of doing albums where I spend thousands upon thousands of dollars doing albums, um, where everybody knows nowadays folks don't buy the full CD anymore, they buy the song that they hear, they buy the things, and if they like the rest of it, or they're a, ma a major enough artist, folks will generally buy the, the, the bigger albums, but as an independent artist, I, I'm, I'm spending my own money. I owe nobody any money in the business, so if I'm going to spend my own money, I want to spend it on what is going to get a return on my investment as quickly as possible. And one of the things that I've found is the music video side of things is, has helped me out in, in, on the touring side of things. Uh, because it, it just seems to be a great way to get that promoted. So the way that I look at it is I, I re I'll release, this is the next single that's out, and you guys are getting it first. Um, then I'm going to look at once once we see what kind of traction the single gets, um, we'll look at putting a music video together, getting licensing for sports companies, the professional sports companies and college sports companies for us, our sports teams over here, or networks or whatever it may be. And then... If, if, if it starts losing steam or doesn't seem to be developing in anything, then I'm going to look at another single and see if we can work it that way. Because, I mean, I can release a four or five song EP out there uh, anytime and spend the money on it, but if folks are only going to spend their time and their money 
on one or two of the songs in a four or six song EP, um, it's kind of one of those things where, and, and straight up, once I get a, deal, a record deal, then I have a record label that can help me push these kind of things. The plan may change, and we've been we a lot of stuff has changed in the last year. So we were actually speaking with record labels and new uh, booking agents and, and and whatnot because things have escalated. But to I, you know, it's a long way to answer your question. But I would say we're going to spend some time on this single, and then if, if this single continues on with the steam that it you know the other singles have had with the music video, we're going to push a music video out there as well. Uh, and then make that for a second promotion. You know, uh, and uh, uh, I hope you do realize that uh, with recording this at the moment, what we're going to do uh, later on, possibly today, possibly tomorrow, is we're going to post this over to a good friend of ours who is uh, uh, Brian Perry from uh, Brian Perry Music Group and Bristol Records. I'm sure he's going to have a good look at uh, exactly uh, what's going on here because uh, I, I personally I think he's exactly what you're looking for having said that my friend uh, we are doing something with a TV company in uh, Jacksonville Florida as well with uh, Frank Moomer from the late uh, Latino late night uh, TV uh, show over there and uh, we're, we're just basically going to harass people in a limousine and stuff like that a lot of humor involved uh, but I do get to break artists and, and new music in the show as well. So uh, uh, I'm just looking for a little bit of uh, confirmation from you, my friend, that I'm allowed to do this. So that, uh, uh, and believe me, it's followed by uh, a huge audience. It really, really is. We're actually starting to shoot the pilot uh, very, very shortly for uh, uh, for this particular part of the late night show. So believe me, bro, I would be very honored if you would allow me uh, to forward this on to uh, the guys over in Jacksonville, Florida. You, you know, we've had conversations like this in the past, and you know I trust you implicitly. Uh, you're, you're one of those people that I gathered from the first few minutes that we got to have a conversation with each other. If you look me in the eye and shake my hand, um, that you're going to do what you say you're going to do, and, and you're going to do it with a genuine heart. And you know I trust you guys over there implicitly. If you, you send it out to anyone and everyone, because we know that it only takes one person uh, to change my life even more drastically than it already has been changed in the last year, uh, but for us to be able to do more more exciting things out there, um, I, yeah, absolutely. Brilliant, my friend. I would love to be able to do that. I'd be very, very honored. I tell you what, uh, if you find yourself uh, with a uh, particular T-shirt or something that you want to send to New Zealand, I would be honored to be able to wear it for you when I do these interviews. Uh, subliminal messages go a long way at the same time. So uh, uh, if, if you ever get the chance to be able to throw maybe a red shirt uh, with, with a little yeah. significance uh, attached to it, I'd be honoured to be able to do that with you. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm being told I've got to move on right now. So, uh, Ryan, please don't go anywhere just yet. Uh, we've got a couple of things we're going to do just after this. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us here at Galaxy. And uh, very, very humbled that you chose us to break uh, arrival first here to the world. I really appreciate it. And I'm here to stay. Absolutely, my friend, and I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. I really, really am. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Good morning. Oh.